Oh, I'm going inside this buggy. Ouch. The skeeters are coming after me. Oh, it is recording. Okay. Hi guys, it's Trish. Um, originally I was going to do an episode of It's All About the Music, but I put down the stack of CDs. Well, I can't remember. I know they're in here, but I don't know if I put them away thinking I wasn't going to do this till the weekend or would I whether I got them mixed up in another pile. So today is gonna be a Trish chat. Um it's been a while since um I got um mixes from my friend Larry um, but, uh, what was it today? Yesterday, um, I did get a package from him and, uh, which was good because I was starting to worry about him. I really was. I was like, oh my gosh. But I think he's been away and stuff, so, um, he sent me two mixes, Run Through the Jungle, and No Milk Today. Uh, Run Through the Jungle is like uh, music from the uh, Vietnam era, and uh, here you go. I hope that light hits that right. Light, right. Uh. Um, if it doesn't come out right, I will show it again in the next episode of It's All About the Music. Um... No Milk Today um, uh, is more like all these but goodies and uh, from that era, I guess. But it's um, no, uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, light, light, lighter, um, um, it's not as uh, heavy, shall we say. Um, and Larry, if you're uh, watching this, thank you very much. I started to get concerned uh, about you, but when I got these mixes, my stress level decreased. Yeah. Um, also saw a, well, two, two prongs of good news. Three prongs, actually. Um... First, um, Br um, Brad is out of the hospital. Beetle Brad is out of the hospital. I'm so happy to see that. He looks well. Um, he's, you know, recuperating nicely, but he's still in pain. And uh, hopefully he makes a full recovery. Second part of good news... I uh, called Cheryl um, Cheryl last week, and she's done with her first, uh, you know, first, um, I guess, session of uh, her first, uh, uh, maybe chap, um, first chapter of um, chemotherapy and radiation and uh, they gave her a few weeks a uh, month off and then they gave to uh, let her recoup and stuff and uh, then they get gonna give her an MRI to see if the mass in her brain shrunk so uh, prayers to her um, things are going well at the beach uh, <clears throat> as you saw the other day my um, my uh well i post uh my area is done my beach is done um 
Mount Street is all squared away. And um, hopefully they get to wrap up all that construction soon. Because I tell you, <laughs> I see people walking down the uh, beach and I see the trucks and stuff coming down. But, but they're very careful. But I still worry about, pe you know, especially kids jumping out in front of them just because they're kids, you know. Um, yeah, but uh, everything seems to be going well. Uh, my deep beach is done, uh, Mount Street is done, I think, I think bridge, um, all the way up to, I think, between my beach and Harris Street is complete, and I think they're going to finish up Strickland and where else are they working? Maybe Harris? I think they're working. And uh, then they get move on to Point Pleasant Beach. And I think that's going to kind of interrupt, the not interrupt, but put a little, um, huh, how shall we say, a little bit of a damper on... 4th of July weekend, but hopefully they can work around that and everything will be all right. Um, got a new viewer. I don't know if he subscribed yet or not. Uh, his name is the uh, Iron Sheik. Um, thank you for your uh, comment. And uh, he said, why do people say that my room's messy? Well, those are people who are looking for something out of sorts, you know. And All right, I'm not the most organized person, but, uh, you know, who's perfect, you know? It's like, um, you know, there are people that just like to look for bad, you know, something out of the ordinary or something wrong. Um, um... How do we call that? How do we say they're, they're out for a witch hunt? They're looking for the negative. They're not focusing on what you're saying or what you're talking about. They're, they're looking for something around you to, you know, you know, make people not like you, you know. Oh, her pen's, you know, still on the desk. It should be in a pen holder or what? Why, uh, why are there scissors on the desk? Is she going to kill someone? Is she going to stab someone? No. <laughs> oh, people, there are people that are just like that. But don't pay attention to those people. Just focus, you know, look at my videos and decide for yourself. You know, you know, um, just look at my videos from now to the, you know, and uh, decide for yourself what kind of person I am. I'm a good person, okay? I'm a nice person. I'm a kind person. And uh, the long-time viewers, most of them know that. I don't have to explain myself. Um, so that's it, short and sweet. Uh, I told you I wasn't going to bring my camera to work however on like i said in one video if there's something going on after work an event that uh, you know something cool happening after work i will thursday is going to be one of those days thursday the farmer's market is returning to bayhead and i plan to bring you there and uh see what vendors are there, maybe pick up a um, bunch of bananas there or something. Um, yeah. All right, guys, well, that's, that's it for now. Um, I'll probably find this stack of CDs when I get done filming this I was going to talk about. And... Um, 
that'll be but I will be doing an episode of It's All About the Music soon, I promise. Just um mentally the transition between getting off of school and getting accustomed to my summer schedule and my summer mindset has taken a minute, you know, and all this other stuff going on, all these other things on my mind, and, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, and one more bit of good news. One more bit of good news. July 5th, I will be DJing at, uh, uh, it's called the uh, Coffee at Noon. Uh, it used to be Applegate's Hardware. I've taken you there before, and they uh, um, when they asked me to DJ, was it? I think it was uh, Field Day. Uh, one of the uh, students that goes there, her her mom came up. I believe it was her mom or aunt something. Um, you know, likewise, playing, I said, I, I, uh, have that place coffee at noon. I was wondering if some day you, you know, like the DJ there some morning. I said, yeah, I'd love to. So, uh, I saw her the other day and, uh, we set it up and we'll be there July. 5th from 10 till 12. It'll be short gig, but it'll be good, you know. And who knows? If they really like what I do, I might be asked to DJ there again. All right. All right, guys, that's it for me. This is Trish signing off, saying peace, love, and keep the good tune spinning. I hope you're having a great week. I hope this weather is uh, not dampening the spirits, apparently. The next two days are going to be gorgeous. And I hope um, you take advantage of these, the, yeah, take advantage of those two days and get out there and, you know, take a bike ride, take a walk. And enjoy it all right i'll see you soon i'll see you in a day or two and uh until then and always take care <laughs>